Hi, in this recording, I'm going to be showing you how to privately bill a patient. So in this example, I'm going to be billing the patient Joyce Tulip. She's already been added to the waiting room. So I'm just going to go to visit down the bottom. Now I'm going to keep the invoice to patient as is. The item number. So she had a really long appointment over 40 minutes. So it's item code 44, the long consultation. The surgery fee for this consult is $165. So I'm just going to change it there. Now it's automatically calculated the gap. Joyce also had another procedure while she was in the surgery. So I'm just going to click add to add another line and I'm going to add the item number which is 30061 and it's for a removal um, of an object, foreign object. It's superficial and the fee for that is $60. So this is what the doctor is charging. This gap fee is the difference between the fee and the Medicare benefit schedule. Okay, so once I've happened ha happy with that, um, I'm going to process the payment. So I'm asking for Joyce to pay the gap during this visit. So I'm going to go down to the payment options. I'm going to go pay now and I'm going to go gap payment because we're going to be claiming the other difference from Medicare. So here we've got the gap amount of 92.85. The payment type, I'm going to change it to um, FPOS menu. And then all I need to do is click receipt. I'll get a PDF of her tax invoice receipt. So it's 92.85. There's a total balance outstanding of 132.15. We'll claim that amount from Medicare. So then I'm going to go save and print. And I'm just gonna give it a minute until it asks me to save it to a PDF. So I'm just gonna save this as Joyce. Tulip private build. Mm. Mm, did it twice for some reason. I'm just saving it again. I'll replace it because I know it's only one. Once it's done successfully, it will remove from the waiting room. So it's been done. So that's how you bill a private patient. I'll give you another example of a private patient billing. So I'm going to privately bill Yoland Petal. So again, I'm going down to visit F5. I'm keeping the invoice to amount as patient. The item number in this case is 36. The consultation was over 20 minutes long. The surgery fee for um, a level C consult is $125. The gap is $49.25. Now, these gap payments in my demo version are not the most up-to-date um, differences from the MBS schedule fee. So just be wary of that. You do need to update it. But um, for the examples that I'm giving, they're not the most current. I believe they're from last year. Okay, so this time, again, I'm going to be just doing the gap payment. So again, pay now, gap payment. You'll see this amount down here will change from 125, which is the surgery's fee. When I click gap payment, it's going to change to that 49.25. See how this visit options, I've got removed from waiting room checked. 
So that means that as soon as I've processed the um, the the visit or the record um, and receipt it, it's going to remove the patient from the waiting room. So again, just clicking receipt. And we can see the tax invoice. It's $125. This is what the surgery charges. The gap payment is $49.25. So that's the payment we're asking the patient to pay today. And the balance outstanding is $75.75. So this is what we're asking from Medicare. So we're going to be claiming that amount from Medicare. And I can tell you now, item 36, the um, MBS schedule fee, for item 36 is 75.75. I did update this item number um, the other day. But if yours is different, it's just because the um, it hasn't been updated. So save and print, you'll get the PDF file option come up to save it. And this was Yoland Petal. And click save. All right, it's doing it again. It normally does not do this twice. For some reason it's doing it twice today. Okay, so she's also been removed. So that's how you bill, privately bill a patient.